Okay, let's have a look at this suko now. I quite like to see an L shape at the beginning because it means that I know the value of the L shape and the square, so I can subtract to find at least one starting point. But sometimes you'll find, like here, in fact, that there isn't a starting point that's obvious that you can just put in. Uh, so we have to work with what we've got. Now, this looks interesting. There's nine here. That's quite useful. So from the 23, this must be 14. Again, doesn't really tell me too much, uh, although actually 14 is fairly limited, so I might go actually, let's say 5, 9, uh, 5, 9, or 6, 8. Okay, so it's one of those pairs goes there, but that, that may or may not be uh, handy later. What's much more handy though is that um, if that's 14 and this square is 19, then the two above the 19 must be 5, because I've got 14 already, another 5 to give me 19. And that is only 1, 2, 3, or 4. Okay, So 1 and 4 is 5, or 2 and 3, there's no other possibilities for these two. Okay. Now that's quite interesting, because when you see a 26 or above, that often limits uh, the numbers, so it's possible some of these smaller numbers here might not work. Uh, these top two, the pink, we see a 13, Right, so 13 could be a 4 and 9, okay, uh, 4 and 9, and 5 and 8, but that's impossible because uh, this has to be a 1, 2, 3, or a 4, so I can't even entertain the fact that that one's a 9, okay, or 6 and 7. So in fact, the only possible way that these two can work uh, is if this is a 4. If this was less than a 4, uh, we would need... And let's say it was a 3, we need 23 for these other numbers, and we can't get 23 for these other numbers. So, um, that means that must straight away be a 4, and that must be a 9. Remember, if you're not sure, you can always like hit check and you'll get your greens, but that is good. Right, this is a really good progress because now I've got, uh, I know these, if you recap, these were 9, these were 14, these were 5. So, well, 4 and it has to be 1. Whoops, sorry. 4 and 1. Um, this can't be, now we know this is 14, but we now know it's not at 9 and something, so we can eliminate 9 and 5 from these two, ah, meaning this has to be 6 and 8, which is excellent. Okay, now these are, uh, let's have a look here, this and this, these are 13, yeah? Um, so if, it's, if this is an 8, we must need another 5, but if it's a 6, we need another 7. So that can't be much. Um, I could look at these 23 as well. Uh, these yellow snake is 23. So I've got, I know I've got 14 here and one is 15. So if that's a five, that would give me 20. That would be a three. If that's a seven, that's 22. Um, and I'd need a one there, which I can't have. So actually that's definitely a five. So this is turning out to be quite uh, straightforward now. Uh, now the pairs that make 9 are much easier because I've got uh, 1 and 8, which it can't be, 2 and 7, which it must be, actually. Uh, it can't be 3 and 6 or 4 and 5. But already, if you look here, I've got um, that coveted L shape where I know uh, three of the numbers. So that's just 9 and 9, which is 18. And to get my full 26, that's got to be another 8. Uh, so leaving that as the 6, just quick check, 14, 15, yep, that works. And again, down here, uh, 8 and 8 is 16, another 2 is 18, and give me the 7 here, yeah, just check that, 7, 14, 21, 3, there we go. So that's how to attack one. Um, sometimes, let me just go back and look, uh, sometimes when you see uh, a double here uh, that, that's not that brilliant, uh, but one that is, it's always often worth tracking it up and saying, well, if these two are something, then these two must be something, and so much these two, does that help? Okay, good luck.